And as scientists around the world race to find a vaccine for COVID-19, some are considering a controversial method to speed up the process. One headline from ABC News reading, quote, injecting healthy adults with live coronavirus provides moral dilemma and faster path to vaccine. Joining us now is Dr. Jeanette Neshwat. She is a family and emergency uh, medicine physician and a Fox News medical contributor. Dr. Neshwat, always good to see you. Thanks for being here this morning. We have a lot of questions. One, on injecting healthy yes, people good to see you. with the vaccine to find a vaccine. Obviously, this piece was pointing out the moral dilemma with doing that, but you've got healthy people all over saying, or, or if they tested pod, positive for the antibody, saying, use me, use me to help find a vaccine so we can get out of this. Well, that's great that we have lots of volunteers, but we have to remember, Sandra, that it takes about 10 to 15 years to get a vaccine on the market, and it costs millions of dollars. So we are moving at an extraordinarily fast pace to get it down into to one and a half years. We have to understand that vaccines have to go through trials, phase one, phase two, and phase three. And two doctors, as reported in the Journal of Infectious Diseases, said, let's, instead of uh, using the regular phase three trials, Let's just use what's called a human challenge trial, meaning after we've checked for safety and effectiveness and dosaging, let's just inject it straight into patients. But the question is, we are knowingly asking volunteers to inject themselves with a deadly pathogen um, that could you know, potentially kill them. And on top of that, I am seeing so many patients, young patients um, with heart disease, with strokes, uh, with pulmonary embolisms, blood clots in their heart and their lungs. So there's definitely a risk. Um, this is a bit of, a, of, of an ethical dilemma that we have to also take into consideration. Very important developments there. This is the Wall Street Journal, Scott Lop, uh, Gottlieb, this morning. America needs to win the vaccine race, writing, quote, COVID-19 altered world history. It's now evident that public health is part of national security. A successful vaccine will allow Americans to reclaim the country's safety and sovereignty. The first country to reach this prize will be the first nation to recover. So to your point, the race is on to find that vaccine. By most estimates, we're still a year to 18 months out. I want to ask you also now about the talk of this possible new treatment, uh, pep, the, the active ingredient in a, in a heartburn drug that we all know, Pepsid. What are we learning on that with obviously putting out the warning to people listening that nobody's saying to run out and buy this if you're suffering from symptoms of COVID-19, but what are we learning about its effect on COVID patients? Sure. So actually, there's a study here in New York where patients are being put on famotidine, which is an over-the-counter medicine. Some people take it for heartburn, like if they eat you know, something spicy or with like tomato sauce and they have some heartburn, they'll take that medicine. Um, so there's a study showing if patients are put on famotidine and hydroxychloroquine, will they have a better outcome? And the reason why doctors got this idea to run this study here in the United States is because in China, doctors noticed that patients that were put on famotidine versus patients that were put on a more expensive type of antacid outlived those who were put on the more expensive antacid. That's what why they decided, oh, let's let's check this out. Let's see if this is going to work. But basically what happens is famotidine, also known as Pepsid, um, it acts sort of like a decoy for the virus. So when the virus enters the system, it's going to interact with famotidine and it won't have the opportunity to replicate and cause severe illness. So it's being studied. It's definitely something to look at. It's being given in very high doses um, in this trial that's going on here mm -hmm. in New York. Um, it's not a harmful medicine to take in high doses, so um, that's always important to make sure we're not doing any harm to our patients during this study. But hey, we need to try and see what works, and if it's effective, that's fantastic. But it's going to take some time to see the results of this study. As always, if you have questions, ask your health care provider about that. Final thoughts on Dr. Burks saying yeah. this on Meet the Press over the weekend. Social distancing will be with us through the summer to really ensure that we protect one another okay. as we move through these phases. So with the few seconds that we have left, Dr. Nashwat, just your thoughts about what the summer is going to look like as we start to see parts of the country reopen. 
I think if everyone adheres to the CDC guidelines, and we can definitely open up slowly, smartly, in phases, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Remember, the goal is to protect high-risk populations, the most vulnerable. No, in phase one and two, most vulnerable have to still shelter at home. Uh, but it's very important to uh, make sure that we adhere to the six-feet guidelines because this virus is very highly infectious and contagious, and we want to definitely prevent the spread of this infection from one person to another by taking these very simple steps. And as the weather gets warmer and the sun's shining in so many areas of the country, it gets harder and harder. But we hear you, doctor. Thank you very much. Dr. Neshwat. Illinois homeowners.